Excuse me. My God. Just went to the grocery store, and then before that, I was at an appointment to do with my passport, and then before that, I had to go to the bank and take some money out. Um, so I'm just on the way home now. I didn't want to go to the grocery store because it's like pouring rain outside. I just wanted to go home, but our fridge is like completely empty. <gasps> and the things that are in it need to be thrown away, so that's what I'm gonna have to do tonight. I like going to the smaller grocery store in the area that we live because then there's less choice and I spend less money, so it usually works pretty good. It's a productive afternoon. Now I get to go home with my chipper man. And today was payday, so I was at the bank to get my cash out for my cash envelope stuffing. I'll, I'll show you when I do it, but when Seamus and I get paid every two weeks, so we budget every two weeks. In my old job, I, I did get paid weekly and I preferred that, but this is okay. So I do my budgeting bi-weekly now and I take the cash out and do like cash envelope stuffing. It keeps me on track and it's not for everybody, but it keeps me on track and I spend less money. So I will show you that. I'm gonna show you quickly what I got at the grocery store. Case of Fresca, um, Powerade for Seamus, two of each. They were, um, if you buy four of them, you get some extra steam points and I was gonna get them anyway. So that worked out. Two things of tomato sauce, bunch of bananas. And then I got some ground beef that I'm gonna use tonight and some chicken breasts. Please let me know what where chicken how much chicken breasts cost if you live somewhere other than Nova Scotia. But these four chicken breasts were $16.48. And that's 936 kilograms. This was $16.48. I feel like that's excessive. A bit excessive. I got some sandwich bags, a spring mix salad, two bags of baby carrots, package of watermelon, two cucumbers, package of bologna, a package of applesauce, some yellow peppers, then I got um, these crispy minis. We needed clear garbage bags. Seamus tried these Doritos sweet and tangy barbecue chips, I think. They're limited time only. They're new, but Seamus said they're really good, so I got those. I thought these looked good. Creamy dill chips, and then regular plain chips. Seamus and I both like these to take for lunches or just snacks, so it's like Ritz cheese and crackers. And then I got two boxes of Hamburger Helper. I haven't had this in a really long time, but, but I was talking to one of my friends from my old job and she was saying that she was eating Hamburger Helper for supper and I really wanted it. I used to make this all the time when I lived in um, my apartment. It's probably not great for you, but I, just, I got Seamus and I our favorite chocolate bars. And by our favorite, I mean my favorite. I don't know if these are his favorite, but he likes them. Uh, Triscuit crackers. Seamus needed a new body wash. And then I got this big box of granola bars because it was cheaper than the other kind. I should find the receipt. All of that was $186.45. Like I said earlier, I was at the bank and I take cash out bi-weekly when I get paid and I do cash envelope stuffing. So some people refer to it as a zero-based budget. So every month, all the money that comes into your account has somewhere to go. And that is kind of what I do. I break it down into like two groups, um, mine and Seamus' expenses and then my own expenses. So um, pay all of our major bills like Cell phone, water, internet and cable, um, power, all of that is online. So I do things like groceries and oil, um, date night, just different categories like that. Um, 
And then in my own category, I do like gas, eating out, beauty, gifts, car maintenance, gym, debt, clothing, just stuff like that. So I am going to, I'm just gonna show you how I have it all set up and then I'm gonna get into the cash stuffing. Um, I'm not gonna, gonna show you the amounts or anything, but I just wanna show you what it is that I do. So this is my budget binder. I keep everything written down here, all of the bi-weekly money that I put into each envelope. And um, I went to the teller today, so I was able to get tens. Normally I can just go through the drive-thru or the ATM and get fives, twenties, and fifties okay, but I got some tens today. This is my everyday cash envelope system. And then this is, um, this has envelopes in it like, um, that would have a little bit more money in that I don't want to carry with me every day, but I'm just going to open this and show you. So this is the binder I take with me. I use it as a wallet. Um, if I end up using my debit card for something, I'll just pay myself back into this envelope and then put it in the bank next time I'm there. Uh, this says deposit, but I keep receipts and coupons in it. This is my little change pouch. And then um, I have groceries, gas, eating out, beauty. You can see most of these envelopes are empty. Um, gifts, fun, clothing, spending, chip, date night, gym, household, and then I put um, cake money in here, and if I take any photos of people, I put that money in here. And then in this one, um, this is this one that might have a little bit more money in it. When it reaches a certain number, I'll put it into the bank. But this is um, a travel envelope for Seamus and I. This is um, to pay off of our pay off our couch, our oil, car maintenance. This envelope says Seamus on. I, I sometimes put money into this, and then if I see something Seamus likes, I'll just use the money out of here. The idea of it is like a gifting envelope, so when his birthday comes, I can take it out of here instead of like the gift envelope. Uh, debt, Kara, travel. If I go on like a day trip with the girls or something, I'd have some money in here. This is a new envelope, so it has no money. Wish list, I just added that. Savings, and then I have Christmas savings little tracker here I didn't use yet. And then this is like my $5 challenge. At the end of every week, if I have any $5 bills left, I'll put them in here. So I'm gonna get started and just fill the envelopes up. back from chips walk it was pretty quick it was 16 minutes this amazon pack almost stabbed myself in the face this amazon package was on a step it's kind of wet so i'm hoping whatever's inside of it is okay so before i show you what's in this box seamus works at a coal mine and our washer is taking a beating so he washes his and i wash mine and we keep it separate and I wash towels and bed clothes and everything in between. Try not to ruin my clothes, but the coal just gets in everything, even if we keep it separate. So our bed sheets and quilts and everything are like, not ruined, but dingy and spotty and they're usable, but they don't look good. So I ordered two um, black fitted sheets to put on the bed. These are pillowcases. Yeah, black pillowcases. So obviously not gonna be good for our for our golden retriever because he's blonde. But you can lint roll that and wash that and the dog hair will come off, but the coal isn't going to come off. So that's what was in those packages. The wind is so bad it literally Sounds like my house is gonna fall down. So I'm gonna get a shower and then I'm going to cook supper after. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your.
joy to the ones who lost their hope. to say good night from chip and i he is a sleepy boy um i'm gonna edit this video and just relax for the night it is 20 after 8 by the time i edit this video um i'm just gonna go watch some netflix so if you enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me and i'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm.